Guernsey was used as the location for the book because that's where Marianne got stranded in the fall of 1980. She was on her way someplace, we aren't quite sure where, and she ended up in the Guernsey airport. As she always said, the moment the plane landed, a terrible fog boiled out of the sea. And of course, as it does, the Guernsey airport shut down and the ferry service shut down, and Marianne was stuck there in the airport for 36 hours. She didn't really see very much of the island, but she got very well acquainted with that airport. And after she had read through everything in her bag, she wandered into the airport bookstore or gift store or whatever it was and started looking for books to read. That's when she found the first book about the occupation of Guernsey by the Nazis during the Second World War. And that's also, of course, where she became obsessed. When the fog lifted, Marianne left. She never really saw the island, as I say, but she had a lifelong fascination going by that point. When she got home again, she began to do research about the occupation, and she spent the next 25 years of her life reading and writing about Guernsey and the occupation. I mean, I suppose she began being interested only in occupation facts, but it grew to an obsession with Guernsey, the island itself, the people, the geography, the history, the culture, the language, everything about it interested her. I think she probably knew more about Guernsey than anyone in America at one point. 